people. Now this is a video that I've never done that I just kind of want to do because I see people do it and I'm like, I should do that, but I don't know, but it's a good old pocket dump video. I carry a lot of crap on me. I'm not going to lie. I have probably, probably too much stuff I carry around, but guys, I, everyone else is doing it. So I thought I'd do it. You know, this is stuff that I carry on my person, usually at all times. Now this is going to get, it's going to look crazy to everybody, but it just is what it is. So don't, don't judge me <laughs> and, and think, how does he keep his pants up? Cause I, I don't know how I do either, but, uh, we're going to start off with a good old fashioned wallet boys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is from Lone Deer Leather Company. My youngest son got this for me as a Christmas gift a couple of years ago. And, uh, well, I don't want to open it up because it does have cards and stuff in it. But look at the, what does Richter say? The teener? The Tina? The teener is on it? <laughs> you know, it got a little scratch. But I usually treat this with open offs once a year. And it, it looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. This is a good looking wallet. But this is in the summertime. This is going to get replaced with a new one that I've got from my good friend Boston Blade Reviews. That video will be coming out shortly. Probably next week sometime. But he sent me a nice gift. And uh, during the summer months it's going to be great to use to walk up to the old Dairy Queen. And, and use it uh, for when I have my pack on um, hiking or, or going in the river. Because when I got my pack on I, I never go too far overboard to where that pack ever gets wet. So there's there's the wallet I carry now. And like I said, during the warm months, it's gonna get replaced with the one that uh, Mr. Boston Blade Review sent me. And I can't wait to do the video on that, but got Lone Deer Leather Company out of Texas if you ever are looking for a wallet. Um, Apple Watch, always have that on me now. I used to never wear a watch and then I uh, started getting into fitness and uh, I can't go without that thing. Um, you know, it did try, you know, who needs their steps? Try, I don't know. I just, it is handy though. When you're, when you're busier in a meeting or something at work and you can respond to a message really fast, you can just hit, hit a preset or what you guys know. Heck, I don't know why I'm telling you guys. Um, this is something new. I started carrying EDC kerchief from our good friend, Georgia adventure, AKA, EDC Leatherworks. Hit up his Etsy store. Get over there. He's got a lot of great things. He is moving right now, but I'm sure if you hit him up, he'll assist you with whatever needs you might have. Another, my oh gosh, I, another EDC leather, Leatherworks piece. This right here, that sheath, I've showed this sheath a hundred times and I'm going to keep showing it because I'll wear it every day now. And wearing this on your belt frees up a lot of pocket space, I'm not going to lie. And we carry the old 75 in there and you guys have seen that knife as well a thousand times. So I'm not going to open it up and show everybody. So two pieces from EDC Leatherworks. Um, what do we got next? AirPods. I use these uh, a lot. I use them at work when I, I usually do cardio during lunch. So I have these on me at all time. Uh, if I need some hearing protection uh, at home and I'm on the mower, I'll use these. It's really not what you should be doing, but I will use these. And I use them at the gym when I lift. Now I put them in my ears, but I don't turn anything on. I just, there's only certain people that know that. And uh, those are the people you see in my videos. If you ever watch any of my lifting videos, you'll see uh, the people that I speak to and, and that they know I don't listen to anything so they, uh, they're they well aware they can talk to me. Um, I just, you know, if I'm in the groove lifting, um, yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know, you just have to be a gym, you know, you just, I don't know, chapstick. <laughs> always have chapstick on me. My lips are always chapped for some reason. I think it's just due to the weather out here. I wanted to do this outside on the bed of my truck but the wind's blowing about box 60 out there. So I'm doing it inside on my coffee table that I built. I built this coffee table out of old wood I found in a barn. Um, I don't know how many people are addicted to this stuff, but I always got nasal spray. Um, I've always had really bad allergies and have had problems breathing out of my nose. I try not to be a mouth breather, but just some generic Equate nasal spray from your local Walmart does a trick for me to help me breathe a little better. Um, now I do carry this knife, but a lot of times in my front right pocket, I'll also have the pair of three if I need something really quick done. 
you know we just used a pair of three to do that we can pull her out and do it really fast so guys this this looks like a lot uh, car keys um, if you guys watch my EDC car video you kind of know what I drive but I also got a pretty decent truck um, that my wife has that we use but now this is a Leatherman tool and on this Leatherman tool we got a, a quarter inch drive it's got the retaining clip here we got us a cap lifter now in this I also have this is something new I started carrying on my keychain I used to have paracord on here but I replaced that with this little uh, Victorinox SD Classic I picked up a bunch of these a couple of weeks ago at flea markets and uh, the pawn shop up here it's going out of business I got five of them for a total of $21 and they were all Victorinox brand <laughs> so I'd say I got a pretty good deal that weekend but uh, that's what I you know this little I couldn't believe how good these scissors are you know I said that in a video I, I made a video on these um, but I just could not believe how good those scissors are so we got a total of three knives really I mean I don't know why I need three knives but this is handy this is extremely handy of course you got your toothpick and your your tweezers and whatnot and then uh the last thing we have well not the last thing i don't want to show my hat you guys usually see me wearing this hat i do have more hats but i just like the way this one fits i like the color of it i'm a big green guy i love the color green um cinch american brand too bad the hat's made where is this made at made in china so we're gonna put american brand on a chinese made hat that's I don't know. I'm not a fan, but <laughs> I like the color of it. And then, of course, we got the cell phone. I got the picture of my granddaughter as the, uh, as the uh, whatever it's called, wallpaper or whatever. So this is a look of what I have on my person usually every day. You know, some of this stuff, uh, like, like these, I'll take out and put in my lunchbox a lot. Um, this knife I might throw in my lunchbox depending on how hefty I really want to be as I'm tracking around. But everything else can pretty much be found all on my person. Especially this, the wallet, the handkerchief, the EDC kerchief, the wallet, the cell phone. So yeah guys, this is a look at what uh, Big J's knives usually has on him. Well, I'd say 75-90% to 90 of the time this is it. My wife hates it but... It is what it is. <laughs> so guys, hey, this is a pocket dump. Jump on board. Let's see what you got in your pockets out there, guys. Stay sharp and stay strong.